I do still have flashbacks from the accident, but this morning it was just as though I was there when I heard that, you know, on the radio that it was Luxor again. It was April 2009, and Linda Lee was on her dream holiday. A two-week tour of the ancient sites of Egypt, complete with a cruise down the Nile. Lee made a last-minute decision to join a friend for a ride on a hot air balloon in Luxor. I thought, oh gosh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do this. But as soon as the balloon took off, what was meant to be a sunrise tour over the Valley of Kings soon turned to tragedy. She says the balloon, packed with tourists, collided with a mobile phone mast. So when we hit the ground and I heard this snap and I knew it was my legs, um, I blacked out. Excuse me. And uh, when I came to, I was trapped in the bottom of the basket. And all in front of me, it was just people lying around. It was horrible. I started to call for help. And eventually these two burly chaps came and they just got me underneath my arms and pulled me out of the basket and lay me on a grass, small grass hillock that was in front of the basket. Lee was brought to a hospital in Luxor before being airlifted back to England for treatment. Her entire body seemingly shattered. She says she suffered 26 broken bones. 16 foreign tourists were injured in the accident. Balloon flights over the valley were reportedly suspended for six months before authorities deemed it safe to fly again. Now, news of yet another ballooning accident in Luxor has left Lee outraged. The cause of Tuesday's deadly hot air balloon crash is still under investigation. CNN was unable to reach the company responsible for operating the hot air balloon in question. How many times has this got to happen? before somebody says, well, if you can't do it properly, we're closing it down for good. And that's what needs to happen. Strong words from a crash survivor that nearly four years later is still struggling to come to terms with her own painful experience. Erin McLaughlin, CNN, Stoke-on-Trent.